We're back with more clips from OTAs. We're going to take another look at the Minnesota Vikings, and we're going to get another quick look at J.J. McCarthy. Another clip dropped from yesterday's practice. It's pretty sweet. We're going to take a look at that. But before we do, you need to click that subscribe button right now. We're going hot in the paint, looking at these rookies. We're looking at these vets from rookie camp, mini camp, OTAs, training camp, everything behind the scenes. If you want to see what your players are doing from their practices, Click that button. Stop missing out. But we're looking at J.J. McCarthy right now. I just did a video on him like two days ago. But a clip came out yesterday. Him throwing a dot. We have to go over it. And hopefully this means more clips are coming out. And on top of that, I found two more. And I think those are from previous OTAs. Here we go. Here it is. Bam. Slinging it downfield. Boom. Dot downfield. Solid. Slinging it. You see the arm on that one. That clip's actually telling us a lot. Accuracy downfield. Can zip it. I get it 7-on-7. Seven seven. Here's him working out. He's got an arm on him. It's live. We saw it at Michigan. It's not a surprise, but we're seeing it in the clips. Here's another one of him tossing. Here's another one. J.J. McCarthy's going to be that dude for the Vikings. This is his job to steal. I know we can see him work his way up the depth chart, but it's going to be his job to steal. It's going to be his job to steal. Sam Darnold, from what I'm reading, is looking good too. But again, it's OTAs. From what I've read and what I've heard, J.J. McCarthy's looking good as well. He's looking very good for a rookie. And the thing about this, he's going to get his moment. It's going to be this year. He's going to get his opportunity this year. He's got Justin Jefferson, Jordan Addison and company. He's got Hawkinson. This team is built for a rookie to take over and do well. This team's built for that. And this is a faster-paced offense. They like to throw the ball. They like to keep the pace up on offense. That's how they want to operate. And they can do that with J.J. McCarthy. If J.J. McCarthy can keep up with that pace, limited mistakes as a rookie as he's developing, figuring out the NFL game, you better watch out. This could be a guy that's really going to climb the quarterback rankings here in the NFL because that's what we could be seeing here. J.J. McCarthy just landed in the right situation for him because he's got a live arm on him. He's accurate downfield. He's got some mability. And you got Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson's going to get that huge contract. That might be something that might impede their ability to build around him. But again, it's Justin Jefferson. It doesn't matter. If he's on this team, he's going to help him develop, get better. And on top of that, his rookie contract is going to allow them to be able to get more players on this roster. So they need him to hit. They need him to do well. They can't keep going to the well of these young quarterbacks. I think J.J. McCarthy is going to hit here, and if he doesn't, he's not going to hit anywhere else because you have all this talent here at the wide receiver spot. You have a good regime here that pushes the football, that can really show a quarterback what goods they have in their game. We saw that with Kirk Cousins. It's a faster-paced offense. They want to be a fast-paced offense. If he hits, he's going to hit big. If he hits, he's going to do very well. He'll be a top 10 quarterback if he hits. If he doesn't hit, we know what happens to those quarterbacks. They go to quarterback hell. But if he hits, he's going to be a top 10 quarterback. That That's the thing. It's either top 10 quarterback or nothing. That's it. That's it. It's all on J.J. McCarthy, how he develops. If he can take that step forward, there's always a step forward from the college game to the NFL game. But if he hits, it's top 10 quarterback or nothing. Top 10, top 5. Somewhere around there. I'm not really putting an exact number on it, but how this offense is ran with the weapons they got, if you're not top 10, you're, you're pretty much going to quarterback hell. Pretty much. Because there's too much around him. His skill set, his upside says, hey, I can turn this thing around. I just got to tap in a little bit. I got to prove myself. I got to develop. I got to do well at these OTAs. Vikings fans should be very excited about him. Fancy football and redraft, you're paying attention. You got your ears to the ground a little bit. But again, you don't want two quarterbacks because that's really going to limit your entire roster and depth chart. Dynasty and super flex is expensive. In one QB, you can catch him for a little bit of a discount there. Probably mid-second rounds when I want to pull the trigger on the quarterback anyways in one QB. So let the other teams get those good quarterbacks like the Caleb Williams and such. But once you get that ick on a wide receiver and running back and you're not really excited about it anymore, that's when you pull the trigger on the, the first quarterback off the board. And that could be him. That could be him for you, J.J. McCarthy. It really depends. 
And it's just how you play the game in 1QB Dynasty. Not a lot of people talk about 1QB Dynasty, but honestly, if you can read a market, you can figure it out. And then Superflex, he's expensive. Middle of the first round, upper part of the middle of the first round, he can jump up the board. Really depends on who you're playing with because he's got that Justin Jefferson upside. And this is a fast-paced offense that wants to be fast-paced. They want to move the ball quickly. They want to be top five in the league in snaps per play or seconds between snaps. That's where they want to be at, and that's where they're going to be at. They're going to get the quarterback that can do that. They're going to do that with J.J. McCarthy if he hits. That being said, that's why I'm saying he's going to be a top 10 quarterback or nothing in this league. So you need to pay attention to J.J. McCarthy. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.